Peter Obi described as a coward for failing to lead obedience to protest against Tenebu's government. Hello, viewers, and welcome to Info Just TV. While he is trying to copy the model of Donald Trump, he falls short of even the extremist policies of Trump. While Trump controls his base, Obi is controlled by obedience. Daniel Wala, former spokesperson of the Atiku Okoa presidential campaign organization, says Peter Obi, presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the just concluded 2023 pool, is not a decent opposition leader. Now speaking in a chat with Cable Network, Buala said Obi never commends the federal government even when they get it right. Peter Obi does not have a history of political culture like a traditional Nigerian politician. Also, he does not have a track record of political mentorship to help people rise in politics, Buala said. Peter Obi is not a political leader. He is not identified his identity in politics. He keeps saying he is the new opposition leader in Nigeria. He thinks opposition is trolling and that that is why people call him social media president. Trolling is not opposition. Why he is trying to copy the model of Donald Trump? He falls short of even the extremist policies of Trump. Extremist policies of Trump. While Trump controls his base, Obi is controlled by obedience. If Trump asks his supporters to move, they move. But here, if Peter Obi wants to say anything and the obedient asks him not to talk, he will keep quiet. That is not the sign of a political leader. Buala also added that Obi should occasionally propose alternative policies. Oppositions is providing but better policies. When something positive happens, a good opposition will say they agree with the government, he stated. For Peter Obi, the day something positive happens, he will disappear from the social media into the thin air. The day he wants to make noise, he will reappear and resurface. He said he has a philosophy of not paying ransom for anybody. When President Bola Metinibu said he will not pay ransom to kidnappers, we expected him to come out and say he agrees with the notion. Rather, he tweeted as if the federal government should do everything possible, including getting and giving money out. His supporters, majority of who are outside Nigeria, are disgruntled and they think their problems are caused by the establishment. Rather, they are behaving like political extremists. Recall that around the team of Mr. Peter B, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party of the just concluded presidential election, he has been accused of reportedly concerning 6 million naira donated to his campaign. At Miss Peros, a strong supporter of Obi, made the public allegations via a Twitter handle now known as X Handle during her series of posts made. And according to her, someone donated 60 million naira to Obi, but a greedy, greedy middleman pocketed everything. She also disclosed that the former Anambra state governor has found out about the incident and is now insisting that your named middleman must refund the donor. Ms. Pearl also went on to claim that a person cannot be corrupt around Obi and go scot-free, adding that the coming days will be very interesting. The corruption we were vehemently speaking against was happening right under our noses and we did not even know. I trust Obi, he cannot be corrupt around him and go scot-free. The coming days will be very interesting. This is at Miss Pearl, stating in her handle. She further stated that so someone donated 60 million naira to Peter Obi, a whooping 60 million naira, a greedy middleman, pocketed everything. Now that everything is written in the capital, 
Now Obi has found out and said the middleman must refund the donor. Lobata, she wrote on her ex handle, formerly known as Twitter handle. Meanwhile, on Monday it was reported and news reached out to Yunusa Tanko, one of the spokesperson of Obi's presidential campaign, to seek his comments on the matter. Although Yunusa did not confirm the incident, Tanko noted that Obi had always insisted that people should account for money given to them. He said, I do not know or have heard about that, but what I know is that His Excellency Mr. Obi has always said that if there are contributions or donations being made for a particular project in support of his candidature, they should account for the persons who has and who have given them the money. For example, if I am looking for a support, say I want to mobilize people or agents for Mr. Pitobi, I will not solicit for funds. If people donate to me, it's incumbent and it is incumbent for me to account for those who donated to me. In this case, whoever donated money to that particular person should ask what was the money meant for and how was the money used with proofs that is why i said knowing fully well that such a thing could happen that is why mr peter b said people should account for money and it is because he called people out that is why people are hearing that People donated a certain amount of money somewhere to so so and so, which he did not know. I am only saying that Peter B has asked people to account for money given to him or given to them by any group or whatsoever. Now, the recent trends of the 60 million naira donated to Mr. Peter B during the just concluded presidential election has has raised comments and even the opposition parties are stating that Peter B is not leading according to examples that he's not doing what he's saying rather he's doing what the obedience wants him to do and that why he's trying to copy the models of Donald Trump that he falls short of the extremist policies of Trump that Trump controls his baseline and Obi it is Obi is controlled by obedience. And if Peter Obi wants to change the country and he sees the opposition party or those in power doing well, he should he should commend them by saying that what they are doing is a good thing and not keep quiet or looking for loopholes to attack such opposition 